My name is Baymi. I'm excited to be here today. Welcome to Avestad's International Christian Center online service. Yay! I'm sure you are glad to be here. If you are joining us for the first time, this is for you. Also, make sure you tell mom or dad to text NEW to the number scrolling on your screen. You might just get a gift at your doorstep during the week. Yes, you heard me right. I mean it. Before we start, we have three things I need you to do for me. Number one, call your siblings if they're not already around you. Number two, tell mom or dad to call your friends or cousins to join us online so we can fellowship together. And number three, I need you to get your notepads, your Bibles, and your pens. I will give you 10 seconds to get that. If you don't already have it, I will be right back. Welcome back. In the past few weeks, we have been learning about generosity, which simply means to give. We have learned to give of our time wisely. I enjoyed giving of my talent during the week because I love to sing and I love to write. Were you able to give of your talents during the week? I'm sure you must have enjoyed doing that. Today, 
we will be talking about another interesting topic about generosity. Are you curious? I will let you know right after this video. Did you know treasure is gotten from the Greek word thesaurus, which means treasure store? Did you know treasures in the old days were mainly precious metals like gold and silver? Did you know precious metals were created by God and hidden in the earth? Did you know, till date, treasures in the natural state are still being dug from the earth to make jewelries, coins, and bars in exchange for money? Did you know that long lost treasures in the old days are still being looked for by treasure hunters today? Did you know, in present day, treasures are also referred to as items that are valuable, like money and the many desirous items money can buy. Did you know, everyone has some sort of treasure. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the video, because I did. It's time to take our memory verse. And it's taken from John chapter 3, verse 16. I expect that you know it already. So let's say it together cheerfully. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Great job. Now, we are going to take it together once again at the count of three. One, two, three. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever would trust in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Great job. Let's take it again. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So, it's time to pray. Let's take a prayer posture and repeat after me. Father, thank you for your love, which is an example for me. Help me to love the way you do. Help me to give sacrificially those things I hold so dear. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you. You may have your seat. This is the time you'll be waiting for, right? Let's get into it. Today, we are going to be talking about giving our treasures. Yes, you heard me right. Treasures. Hmm. I'm sure you've heard that word before. I have. Hmm. Could it be treasure hunt? Mm, still thinking. Or treasure island? Or maybe a treasure box? They sound cool, right? Yes. And I'm sure you are thinking of the games that you play that have treasures. Treasures are desirable and everyone wants them. Treasures could be jewelries. They could be money. It could even be your toys. 
or any other thing that people want and desire so much. Having them and getting them is so much fun. But giving them, oh, sad, not so much fun. It is the feeling you get when you are still very hungry and a friend comes to ask you for your last piece of cake. Oops, I'm sure I won't be excited. It is also the feeling I would get when you ask me for this beautiful piece of jewelry that I love. I'm not going to be so excited to give this to you. But it's a sacrifice. And I won't be the only one doing that if I give to you. Because God sacrificed his son. Jesus sacrificed his life. So it will be easy for me to sacrifice this. Let's watch this video to see who gave all she had. We'll be right back. Have you ever watched how people give their offerings in church? How do you think it happened in Jesus' time? Jesus was sitting with his disciples in the temple, watching people bring their offerings. In those days, people took their offerings to the temple court and dropped them into collection boxes. There were many rich people in Jerusalem. They lived in nice houses and wore fancy clothes. They also had plenty to eat. After they paid for their nice houses and fancy clothes and good food, they would take some of the money they had left to the temple for an offering. Dressed in their finest clothes, they would go to the temple when they knew a lot of people would be there. After looking around to make sure people were watching them, they would pour their money into the collection boxes. They liked it when their money made a lot of noise. And they liked it when people turned to see who had put so much money into the collection box. They hoped people were whispering, Look, see how much offering that person brought? He certainly is generous. Jesus knew that those rich people brought only what was left over after they had purchased all the things they wanted. He knew that they had not given up a single thing. They had not gone hungry or done without fancy clothes. They had not sacrificed. Then Jesus noticed a woman at the collection box. He knew that her husband had died and that she was a widow. Many times she had no food to eat. The woman looked around to see if anyone was watching. She was very embarrassed because she could only bring a very tiny offering. When she thought no one would see her, she slipped two tiny coins into the collection box and hurried away. But Jesus had seen her. He had seen the two tiny coins she slipped into the offering box. Jesus said to his disciples, This poor widow has put in more than all the others. She has given all that she has. All that she had, all of her money. As the widow heard Jesus' words, tears of joy filled her eyes. She had no money to buy bread for dinner, but she was happy to give an offering to God. Although her offering was tiny, she gave more than all the others because she gave it cheerfully and out of love for God. God wants me and you to give our treasures because one, he gave them to us. Two, because he wants us to give so that people know that he gave it to us. So, this week, which treasure are you going to give? But before you do that, I will need you to call mom or dad and have a discussion with them to help you decide which treasure you will be giving out this week. I'm sure you have an exciting time doing that. So, before we go, I would like you to say this with me. I am generous 
because I give my treasure. Again, I am generous because I give my treasure. Woo! Yay! Well done. It was an exciting time today and hope you'll be here next week. See you. Bye.